Hey everybody, welcome back to my Lego City Room. As you know by now, all the stuff that goes on with this space back here, all the custom developments, all the updates, get covered on a channel that's dedicated just to this room. I'm here today for a different reason though. I'm not going to be showing you any of my custom stuff on these tables over here. Instead, we're going to be looking at this table over here. One single, small, like half a table that I set up specifically to show off all of the first wave of Lego City sets that use the new road plate system together. Most of this side over here is made up of the town center set. On the left is the family house. Kind of in the middle, integrated in there is the skate park. And then over on the right is shopping street. In addition, I also added in one copy of the dedicated road plates set. And I got the, the box for it on the ground over there. So just one copy of that, which does include four of the road plates, the big ones, and one small one. And I moved some tiles around, moved some individual pieces around a little bit, but everything on this table just comes from those initial sets, those, those first sets that introduce this entire road plate system. And that's my only purpose with this video. This is something that I wanted to do ever since those sets were initially announced and we saw pictures of them and it's something that a lot of viewers have asked for. Beyond this, separately, I'll go into uh, a different video, maybe multiple videos to look at integration with other city elements, with modulars, with other creator small buildings and all that. But here we're just looking specifically at the new stuff altogether. As I was setting this up, two things really stood out for me. First of all, there's a lot of road surface here compared to amount of space used up by buildings. It's fairly conspicuous. Now, admittedly, part of that is because I added in that add-on set with the additional road plates. However, that's only responsible for if we were to take, let's say, right from there, one, two, three, four, and a half, basically, and one, one small unit of road. So ignore all this right here. And all that is what you get without the add-on road plate set. So it's still a lot of road and not a whole lot of structure, not a whole lot of, of, of height or depth, you know, a lot of open space. However, a lot of that open space does get used up by the figures and the vehicles that are included in those sets. The other thing that really stood out was the lack of extra tiles with these sets and especially with the road plate add-on set. If, if any of these should have had extras for connecting things, it was that one, and it did not. Instead, it had extras of these ramps. So I ended up with a bunch of, of spare ramps, and I'll show you those a little bit later on just so you see the totality of, of what you get. But those don't really help that much because they can only be used at the ends. So I did put them in, what, five places around this city, uh, and... Some of them felt a little bit forced, like I didn't really want to put them there. And when it came to connecting things and filling in blank spaces and, and the connecting portions of these, these tile areas, so the studded, recessed and studded areas of these road tiles, I ended up having to use like one by fours and one by twos and, you know, really ration my use of those pieces. And I actually did not have as many of the printed uh, just road line, you know, line or road separator tiles, the two by fours, as I would have liked to use. That said, this does look like a good start to me for a town layout, you know, a small town layout. It just really, really desperately needs some more buildings to be added on. And of course, they were going to give you more roads than, than vehicles, you know, way more road than the vehicles that are included need when you put those together. And there are a lot of vehicles that are included in Lego city sets in general. So there's a strong probability that somebody getting any of these sets would already have plenty of vehicles to add to this scene. Now what Lego definitely needs to focus on is releasing more shops and houses that will fit with this system. Before I wrap up, I need to do this a little bit to counter some misinformation that's been disseminated by folks who really hate this new road system, who've been going around telling everybody that you cannot put two trucks or lorries, you know, larger vehicles on these road plates and have them comfortably drive past each other. And I'm not even lining these up perfectly. It's obvious for mathematical reasons, simple math, that these will fit. These are 16 wide plates. And then the way that they get connected, they almost always tend to give you one additional 
uh, width. Sorry about that, Mr. Fire Motorcycle Guy. They give you one additional stud worth of width on each side. So you actually end up with an 18 stud width with the, the standard way that they have created to connect these. There are exceptions to that, however. Some vehicles are built with extra wide side view mirrors, and those do not like to pass each other. They will run into each other's mirrors, especially if you're just using the 16 stud standard width of these roads and not taking advantage of the extra width, like I mentioned, to bring it out to 18 studs when you connect plates and have additional tiles along those plates, like they've done with the sets that actually connect here. When you're just using the road system itself, then you definitely can get into some limitations with some standard Lego City builds of the past and present. Additionally, if you try to make them go around each other by kind of going off the road a little bit, then you're going to run into some of the accessories that are built up that are intended to go on the side of the road. That is definitely an issue. Now, I mentioned that I would show you the extra leftover ramps. Well, here they are. There are 11 of them from this small layout, 11 extras of these, and these are not cheap parts. They're pretty big. Definitely Lego should not have included as many of these and should have instead included a bunch of extra two by fours and one by fours, and especially options to go between the line versions, the printed versions and the unprinted versions for connections and for changing how the streets will flow. Like I mentioned earlier, and as I've talked about a number of times before, I will do an additional video or two to demonstrate how to integrate these new road plates with old road plates, with old modular buildings that are based on the old base plate system, and also with the smaller Lego Creator normal you know, houses and shops that are relatively cheap. And if you still haven't gotten the memo, all the custom stuff back here is covered on its own dedicated channel now, which is linked from the video description. It'll be in the end screen of every video on this channel. And it's also listed in my channel list on the main channel page itself. So thanks for watching. There's a lot more to come. I'll talk to you again soon.